watch where she take them Full of inspiration, get your daily motivation Get the ride focused, get noticed Move forward, you know it Get focused, get noticed Move forward, you know it Get focused, get noticed Move forward, you can see Watch where she take them Full of inspiration, get your daily motivation Get focused, get noticed, move forward, you know it by the focus, get noticed, move forward, you know it right get focused, get noticed, move forward, you, you can see I watch where she take them, full of inspiration, get your daily motivation. Hello everyone, this is your girl Robin Shockley with the Focus Four with Robin Show here at the Regina Sunshine Global Network at 400 Galleria Parkway in Atlanta, Georgia. I am so excited to be on set today in the studio because we have some amazing guests that are going to be on the show today sharing with us about their pit to purpose story of their marriage and how they, you know, they had some trials and tribulations, but they've overcome them and now they're making purpose with their life story. You're going to want to share this video with anybody that you know that's single, married, looking for a relationship because they're going to share some really good insights to help educate us on how to be better individuals, male and female. But first, what I'm going to do is I'm I'm going to go over my sponsors for today and I would love to always mention them because I have a lot to share today. <laughs> First sponsor is Heart of the Carolinas Home Care with Frank Henderson and Andre Harrison. They're located out of Malden, South Carolina. They're childhood friends and years ago they came up with the concept to be able to care about the senior citizens and the elderly in the community to help them to just have that TLC touch. You know what that means? That means maybe we're so busy and they can't take care of themselves but they have other people that come into the home they nurture them they care for them they give them their medication give them baths take them to the store even or just spend that time of qualityness with them and so that's exactly what Frank and Lamar decided to do Frank and Andre decided to do with Heart of the Carolinas and so if you're interested in their services, they're all over South Carolina. They're in Columbia, they're in Lexington, they're in Anderson, they're in Greenville, everywhere in South Carolina, they will come service you. And if you want to have more information about them, you can contact me yourself because I'm, I help with the marketing and I help coordinate that. So also you can reach them directly at their location in Mali, South Carolina, the number 864-990-4300. Four, five. Again, that is Heart of the Carolinas um, in Malden, South Carolina. My second sponsor is Miss Tangie Roseboro. She is with Pain to Purpose magazine. I'm a contrib contributing writer for that magazine. I write food blogs and articles to help people understand their potential, their purpose, and to go with passion with it. And so Tangie uh, writes these ma has these magazines that she edits and she sends out quarterly. And if you're interested in being a contributing writer for her magazine, reach out to Tangie Roseboro on social media. Also, another uh, magazine that is a sponsor is Miss Teresa B. Howell with the Heat Seekers magazine. She's located here out of Atlanta, Georgia, and um, she does like everything. I mean, she's an interviewer, a, a, a TV person, a music promoter, everything, but she's got this new magazine that she started, and I'm actually a writer for food blogs with the Tasteful Tips and Trips. So if you're interested in connecting with Teresa B. Howell and the Heat Seekers magazine, contact her on social media as well. 
Also, another sponsor that I have, I'm very proud to be connected to this gentleman and his wife, Dr. John Williams and Brenda Williams out of Colorado um, with Come On In Incorporation. I'm excited. He actually is um, an ambassador and helps a promoter for the Extra, Extraordinary People Awards. And actually, I'm a face of the Extraordinary People Awards because of Dr. John Williams. And so we partner together with my Girls Get to For God uh, ministry outreach and uh, with Come On In, and we help serve the communities all around the country, even around the world. I'll give you an example. We have one of our products right here, which is the Girls Gifted for God tote bag. As you see, it's big. You, it's got a pocket on the side. You can purchase one of these um, bags for $20 to deliver. And if you want it mailed, it's only $25. As you see, I have like my gym clothes in here, my makeup, because I'm going to be changing clothes after the show tonight. And so um, you can get that, but what helps with the purchase of the items that come with the Girls Get to For God products, money is sent into the community to service those that are homeless, women's shelters. Um, we also take up uh, beauty items to give to teen girls. So we do a lot of different things with the Girls Get to For God, and Dr. John Williams helps partner with Come On In Incorporation with that. So shout out to him. Also, I want to bring up, during my show today, you're going to hear a new song, and I have Mr. Leon Lee Bellamy with In Insight Guru. He is a musician, a marketing executive, and software engineer, and he's created this little sample song for my little mini commercials with Focus Forward Robin. So I want to do a shout out for Lee uh, for doing that for me, and I really appreciate that, and I'm excited to see what y'all think about the song. Another sponsor I have is with the World Women Conference and Awards Atlanta uh, with Ms. Lakeisha James. She is the chairperson for that. And we have an event coming up. It's called Unleashing the Power of Redefining the Role in Society. If you want more information how to connect with our uh, chapter, um, you can contact myself or Ms. Lakeisha James. I'm part of the media team for this. You can reach her at 678-982-14. Three, one. We have a virtual conference that's coming up in March, and um, I will be uh, networking and talking and interviewing the panelists on this conference, okay? So, and my last one but not least, this lady is very powerful, very special, and her name is Miss Lyric Broaden. I was actually in her uh, music video last year, I mean last week, um, powerful champion video, and she has an organization called She Powerment. Um, it's makeover season. So I'm one of the speakers for that, and she is pretty powerful. She's got a lot of people from around the country that are speaking and sharing their stories, and that's what it's all about, for us to talk about things we've been through and how we've overcome. A lot of people want to hold back because they think nobody wants to hear their story, but that's not really how it works because there's so many people that are broken today, so many people that need that encouragement to hear what you've got to say. The whole point of the Focus Forward with Robin show is to help people to come from their pit situations and move into their purpose. So I give you guys a platform to come here to listen to stories of how people have overcome, how they got out of their stuck mentality and they made purpose with their life. And so I'm thankful because right now we're going to take a brief commercial break and when I come back, we're going to have our two special guests and I'm so excited, Tanasha and Jason gray of 106live.com with a tanasha gray show also we'll be right back get focused get noticed move forward you know it by the focused get noticed Where she take them Full of inspiration Get your daily motivation With Get focused Get noticed Move forward You know it Get focused Get noticed Move forward You know it Get focused Get noticed Move forward You can see Watch where she take them Full of inspiration Get your daily motivation With
get focused, get noticed, move forward, you know it by the focused, get noticed, move forward, you know it right get focused, get noticed, move forward, you, you can know see it violent. Watch where she take them, full of inspiration, get your daily motivation. Watch where she take them, full of inspiration, get your daily motivation. Get focused, get noticed, move forward, you know it by the focus, get noticed, move forward, you know it right get focused, get noticed, move forward, you, you can know see it violent. Watch where she take them, full of inspiration, get your daily motivation. Watch where she take them, full of inspiration, get your daily motivation. Get focused, get noticed, move forward, you know it by the focus, get noticed, move forward, you know it right get focused. Welcome back everyone to the Focus Forward with Robin Show here in Atlanta, Georgia at 400 Parkway at the Galleria with the Regina Sunshine Global Network in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm so glad you tuned in today. Make sure you share this video, comment on it because we'll definitely come back and reply. But I have two special guests with me today and I'm so excited. They're such a lovely couple. They're so sweet. I've got Tanasha and Jason Gray with me. You guys are special guests today because it's all about you. It's all about you. And, you know, a lot of times on my show, I have multiple people that come on. But today, this is so impactful to me and very personal to me because it's the love month. We're celebrating love, you know, Valentine's and such. But also, it's very important for couples, for singles, because there's a lot of people that could be going through some things. And, you know what, we just want to hear the, the story. And not many people come out and share about their life. But first, I want to find out who you who you guys are today so tell us what you do hi everyone and thank you for having <laughs> us here today we really appreciate the um, the invitation thank you so much today I am a pastoral counselor and I do motivational speaking okay. on my radio program um, mom and wife and and friend okay and so yeah I get to enjoy giving inspiration to others. Okay, okay. So tell us about you, Jason. Tell well, us a little bit what you did. Well, thank you for allowing us to be here on the show here. And a little bit about me. I am a uh, business owner. I have a um, co-owner of a of a uh, electrical contracting company here in Atlanta, Georgia, GTG Traffic Signals. And I also host the Mail Perspective every second and fourth Sunday on 106LiveRadio.com. So. Awesome. We're going to talk about that, yes. too. Yes. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, because I've been tuning in listening. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I'm excited because you guys, are, you guys are married. How long have you been married? 17 years. 17, 17 years. So, guys, they have a history. They have a story, and they have experience. So they're... 
this is something we're going to learn a lot from, I can tell. So tell us a little bit. Um, you guys are the founders of 106 uh, Live Radio, right? How long have you been doing that? So we are the owners of 106 Live Radio for about over a little, a little over a year now. Okay. Yeah. All right. And so how did that come into play? Well, I went on a journey and I started writing books. Okay. I wrote a series of books called The Source of Wellness, okay. which really helps to um, encourage others to live a well-balanced life. Okay. And once I completed writing that series of seven books, mm -hmm. I literally had to start speaking about it. That was the next okay. step. Okay. And so I got into radio programming and um, decided to use 106 Live Radio as a place to speak about those books. And once I got started, um, then before you knew it. I think it was about three months later. So did, did you go to school to do radio? Or? No. Well, yeah, we, we've, we've invested a lot over yeah. the year, the last okay. year. So I would say for the money we spent, yes, we yeah. went to school. For <laughs> the money, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you we went to school. Yeah. Paid, paid for an education, put it that way. You what? You paid, paid for an education. For the education, education. Yeah. yes, yes. Because you have to make an investment. If you want to be anything worthwhile, you've got to... Um, you have to start with making some form of investment. Yes. My thing is, is I'm a big sower. So my, my platform is sow where you want to grow mm -hmm. and get yourself in the room and the room will work for you. And so you part of sow where you want to grow is not just sowing time, you know, and resources. You do have to invest in money as sure. well. So mm -hmm. I totally, totally get that. So because I, I invest my, my money here coming. I drive every you know, month to come here to do to do the show with gas and all that, and then I go to classes and meet people and get sure. in that room and stuff. So I totally get that. Yeah. So, um, so you you guys are the founders of the 106LiveRadio.com, right? And so, um, how many shows do you guys have on there? Wow, we have probably about 10, 12 different shows. Oh wow! Yeah. So is it is it what kind of is it? Uh, religious based or is it open to other we have multiple things? genres okay. so we have the r&b and throwbacks we okay. have inspiration which is my favorite yes. <laughs> and we have the caribbean radio and, oh um, tell the, me about the caribbean radio well it's caribbean music okay. you know pretty much but it gears towards that type of I guess calypso and reggae and soca and that type of music. Okay. And then we have the epic radio, which Jason and I um, started, so that we can actually showcase the things that we are passionate about on the epic radio. Okay. So if you go to the 106 Live Radio app uh -huh. or website, you'll find um, different options. Okay. And the epic radio is the one that we are mostly affiliated with. I love that because you, you're breaking it down and you have a, a good diverse um, selection then. You know, it's not just certain things. Now your show, let's talk about your show, the Tanasha Gray Show. Mm -hmm. So tell us, what, what is that about? So that's really um, wellness-based focused. I believe that God has called me to really impact mm -hmm. um, the lives of individuals just by pouring into them okay. uh, when it comes to wellness focused content. And okay. so we talk about how to live a balanced life. And okay. we always give upbeat music in the middle of the day. Yes, and, I listen. <laughs> yeah, and you've been on our show as yes, well. Yes, yes. So, and then we showcase people's story. We allow mm -hmm. individuals to come and tell of their journeys mm -hmm. because we have recognized that uh, everyone has a story for yes. some, you know, for some odd reason. Mm -hmm. We're all here on planet Earth and we all are going through things. Yes. And so it, it really helps to empower others. Yes. And so I believe that um, as we share, we educate yes. and we empower and inspire yes. each and each other. Yes, yeah. I loved your show when I came on because I came on and I shared um, my pit to purpose story, yeah. so to speak, you know, with domestic violence and stuff. And, and it, was, it, was, it was very hospitable. The gentleman that was there, who's really nice. And, and everything and, and Antheon let's do a shout out to Antheon, Antheon Denard. Denard. Always, always live, live in Atlanta. Atlanta we love him <laughs> he's our boy he, um, he takes care of, he's like me well, I told him he's like my twin because we like both have passion for people. We both have passion for community, and we both love to uh, showcase other people. Mm -hmm. So and we both love food. <laughs> so, but he's great. He's great with making those connections and getting people connected. So, actually, that's shout right. out to you, Antheon. Mm -hmm. So that's that's your particular show. Now let's talk about your show, Jason, that you have. Okay. Well, um, I do the male perspective myself and my co-host Willie Legrand, and that show is about 
men. Mm -hmm. We talk about subjects that are uncomfortable for okay. men, not the surface stuff, but get down to the nitty gritty stuff that guys okay. wouldn't talk out loud about. Okay. And like I said, the show is on second and fourth Sundays, and and we got a diverse bunch of topics that we have. We have a panel of men that will chime in, and we just we take a subject and we go with it. Mm -hmm. And the purpose behind the show is really for guys to be comfortable about talking about their feelings yes. and not holding anything in on the inside because yes. men are known for not really being expressive. Mm -hmm. And this is a platform and a forum that we would use for guys to really share their thoughts and really talk about things that they would not really talk about. This would be a benefit to women because then you would understand what goes on in the mind of a guy, especially during certain topics. Exactly, and I love that because when I tuned in and watched it, Antheon, you know, he was sending out messages to tell us to tune mm -hmm. in. I was like, oh my gosh, because I've been waiting for it to come on. And he, thank goodness, he sent that reminder. And I was like, yes, and I was, I think I was traveling or something, so I couldn't really comment a whole lot. But I loved it because it was a male's perspective, mm -hmm. and I and I and women were giving feedback too, which yes. I love that. And so, and I think you even had a woman at one time she a woman called in yes. and was asking questions and so women do need to understand how men feel and one thing that I've learned with what I've gone through because I'm divorced and with my divorce I just just over the last couple of years I've been able to get that male perspective of being single because I have male friends and they've been able to open and share with me and it's given me more of a compassion for a man to get clarity and because when I was married you know he didn't talk about things, you know, and, and, and I wanted that, and I, and I did it the wrong way, and I do own up to that because I felt like I was pulling him to talk about it instead of giving him that freedom to make him feel comfortable that he, instead of trying to demand, you go talk to me, you know, that, that's not right. the way to, to go about it. So I think it's great because men are starting to speak up more. Mm -hmm. Men do need to speak up more. Um, another little plug I want to do while we're doing this. I want to do a shout out. This is my friend, Ron Godfrey. He wrote this book called Crying Out in the Dark, and it's exactly like what you're talking about. His book is about his study of, de not study, but his life of depression, things that he went through, uh, even from childhood, how he carried it into his relationships, and how it affected him, and how he was so depressed, and um, and so how he's overcoming it. And now he's living a purposeful life. But um, he tells it real and raw in this book. And so mm -hmm. you guys, um, I probably need to get you guys connected with that. But, okay, absolutely. but that yeah, be. but Ron, he's actor Ron Goffrey and, and he, he's pretty amazing. But um, it's very important. Men are starting to speak out more now and women are learning to listen more mm -hmm. now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna take a brief break because we got a lot of things that we're gonna go into. I want us to play, um, you guys have this, uh, video promo and it's called the broken um brokenness to holiness and we're going to play that right now and then when we come back we're going to talk about that broken to holiness oh, and we're going to dig deep okay awesome. all right we'll be right back This cannot be true. The things that I did back then, I'm not that person anymore. Hope is only found through Jesus Christ. In ourselves, we could not have made it through the rough times. But with God's help, we are here on the other side. My mission, compel others and talk about these issues about sexual addiction to young men and even married couples. And I want to be that vessel of hope for other people. Together we'll take the word of restoration, healing of broken places. Marriages are made to last forever. Now as a couple we are one. Wow, that was very interesting from brokenness to wholeness. You guys are saying that you were broken at one point, but now you are whole. And who do you give credit for that? I give credit to God because individually and collectively we've been made whole. Amen. Amen. So let's go back. So you've been married 17 years, and how many children do you have? Three sons. Three sons. Three young men. 
Three young men. <laughs> awesome. That's wonderful. So, um, how did you guys meet? How did we meet? <laughs> Come on, Jason. Let's hear your version. All right. Tanasha and I met in New York. Okay. And I, Tanasha was living in New York. I was living in Fort Lauderdale, and mm -hmm. I went up to Fort Lauderdale. I mean, went up to New York to visit my my mom and dad at the time. Okay. And it was, and I picked the day 9/11 to travel because I thought, you know, 9/11 wow. would be a day the flights would be very light. It wasn't that light. You know, yeah. everybody thought the same. But this was in 2003 okay. when when we met. And prior to me heading to New York, uh, my mom had told me she had met a certain young lady that she would love for me to meet and oh. yeah, she was telling me about Tanasha and at the time I I wasn't feeling it I was like you know mom I'm okay in the, in that area I don't need you to help me with women and <laughs> <laughs> mom's always my mom's always on the list so, for me too so I get it <laughs> so with faith having it be working out the way it did you know there was some some things in a way that was trying to prevent me from uh, meeting her, um, I went. I went to my my parents' house, and all of a sudden, the door knocked. I opened the door to see who it was, and it was Tanasha. Okay. And that's how we met. We met that way. Just wow. She came. She was friends with my aunt. Okay. That's where the connection was. My mother. So met she her. was a family friend. Yes. yes. Okay. My mother met her shortly after, but okay. I didn't know that she was coming to the apartment. Okay. We were talking about possibly. Uh, meeting, but it mm -hmm. just didn't work out, you know. Okay, all and, right. But it, you know. Is that how it went down? That's pretty much <laughs> yeah. the story. You know, I, I heard he just got in while I was stuck in the elevator for a little while, and yeah. finally I got released from the elevator and all that drama, and when I got there, he probably had just walked in a little while ago, yeah. and I rang the doorbell, and I did not know he was going to be there or in town okay. or whatever, but I had heard of him before, and so when I met him, I just, you know, was okay, that's the guy, okay, and, you know, kept going. So, so that's how we met. So how did you, um, did y'all start off as friends, or did y'all go straight into a relationship, or how, how did that, how did you make that connection with each other? Well, when we met, I walked into the bus stop, and I pulled out my phone. This, we're in 2003, so texts and smartphones, we're at the primitive side of cell phone okay so I asked her for her number but I did it in a slick way I asked her you know what let me have your number let's see if the number works on your phone so she gave me the number <laughs> and and I got the number and mm -hmm. you know she got on the bus and left and then we just started talking and it's the time that I was in New York we hung out for a little while okay and then after I got back to Fort Lauderdale we started talking more on the telephone and then so she was in Nor New York, Ooh. and then you were in Fort Lauderdale, so it was long distance. It was long distance. It was a long distance relationship. So <clears throat> so you got, I, obviously, y'all been married 17 years. You support long distance relationships. So how did, was it difficult to have that that um, distance, Tanasha? No, not for me. I, I think it's, it's perfectly fine. Okay. I, I think um, each of us should be responsible, mm -hmm. and as we get to know each other, then yes. the relationship can grow. Yeah. naturally and I went down to visit a couple times and then just came back to New York continued to live my life and then he decided that he would love for me to actually be his wife and so he proposed and we decided to get married and I decided the time <laughs> that was it was going to be perfect okay. would be the summertime right. okay yeah so there the transition would be easier and so okay. that's what we did we got married so did you move mm -hmm. to Fort Lauderdale or did I he moved move to, to Fort Lauderdale so you moved to where he was yes okay all right, so so that transition was easier for you to move versus him move. Yes. Mm -hmm. Even though his family was in New York. Yeah, but they also lived, they, they actually got, went back and, bo back okay. and forth. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to pick here because I'm trying yes. to get to understand, you know, the the excitement and the, you know, the thrill. So um, how did you, how, what was your response when she accepted and said, yes, I'll, you know, I'm, I'm ready to transition. I'm ready to, to move forward. I was happy you know, it was a dream come true, and it was something that I wanted. During that time, I was dating, and I got tired of, of the different women that I was dating because mm -hmm. it just didn't bring satisfaction mm -hmm. to me. So when I met Tanasha, she was like, wow, this is the perfect person that I love to spend the rest of my life with. You know, we had fun together, mm -hmm. and I had these dreams of having someone that I can travel, just do things with, and she yeah. fit the, the... She fit the mold. She fit the mold. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 
That's so sweet. <laughs> did he fit the mold for you too? He did. He seemed like he was, you know, just like he's talking today. Okay. He he was very engaging in conversation. Okay. Um, even when I shared my ambitions and dreams with him, okay. it seemed like something that he would uh, support. And okay. I, I liked that very okay. much. Mm -hmm. So he was supportive of what your desires were. Yes. And, uh, so that's very that's key. That's very important because a lot of times, you know, you're involved in a relationship because you're you get excited and you mm -hmm. you know it's the ooey gooey, the romance and all that stuff. But then there's nothing else there. So if but if you can find that person or wait on that person that has that same dream, that same it, the vit. This is what I always say. The vision is the same, but the dreams are different. The vision is to grow forward, to move oh, forward. Yeah, but the dreams could be different things, but as long as you're connected and you both are supporting one another, you know, there, nothing can stop that, sure. right? Because you're going in the same direction. It's just you just, you're both attached to a few different things, but then it all still comes together mm -hmm. if you choose to join together. I love that. So um, I know you guys have a story. I want to know about the brokenness part. So... Tell who wants to who wants to take on that and tell us when when things started to get a little bit rocky. I think it's best for Tanasha to tell, then I can <laughs> then I can chime in because okay. it, it'll be too too instant for me. If I can. Okay, okay. <laughs> so um, in this book, we wrote it and divided it into four sections, right? Okay. And the reason was because there was so many different phases that we felt like we went through in our marriage. Okay. And the first phase really was the phase where we experienced darkness. Mm -hmm. So the dark years, in essence. Okay. Um, as we looked at pre-discovery phase, mm -hmm. we saw that there were things in the dark lying beneath the surface. Okay. Um, I started having dreams as to... Um, things that Jason might be doing. I started feeling certain um, way um, about the marriage. I started asking for us to go to counseling and mm -hmm. get some help, things like that, because I just felt like there was something that I need to face, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for it. Okay. However, I felt like very strongly okay. that there was trouble within the marriage. Okay. Cause, so you had that sense of discernment, so to speak. Yeah. Yeah, because you like, but you it, you were nervous, or you said a little, or reserved to to face it, because you I knew was it was hesitant. there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that that's what a lot of women mm -hmm. and men, because this this goes both ways. Because you're telling your story, but mm -hmm. there are men that are watching this that they have women that this has happened mm -hmm. with too. So this is not just aimed. This is not just focused on men of infidelity and and problems and stuff. It's, it goes with the women as mm -hmm. well. And that's why we're trying to get to the to the root of it. That way it can be helpful and impactful of those that are watching this to say, hey, you know, these are the steps that you should take and and to recognize these signs. So so you started noticing these things yeah. and then what happened? Then um I, you know, was asking Jason about those those very, you know, questions and just really prying a little bit at times, but wanting to to avoid the explosion if there was going to be any explosion. And okay. he would he would tell me exactly what he thinks I want to hear, which is everything is fine. Mm -hmm. There's nothing mm -hmm. to worry about. Well, what about this dream? Well, um, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a movie. Maybe whatever. <laughs> maybe it's the pizza. Thinking about yes. <laughs> <laughs> but he would always um, find a way to discredit what I was feeling mm -hmm. and kind of pacify me okay. in a sense. And um, I look at that time as really a time when he had a chance to clean up his act, but okay. he didn't. And you know, God gives us those opportunities before mm -hmm. he pulls the plug. Mm -hmm. um, and so it, we, had to, we had to get to that point where it, it had to collide. Okay. And during that time, we called that the epic event. Okay. And we call it the epic event because there was so many, I felt like there were bricks falling down on me when the, mo when the moment of discovery came. Mm -hmm. So we had the pre-discovery phase and then we had the discovery phase okay. that we talk about in the book. Okay. So you had the pre-discovery. So when did he? When did you? When did you come clean? When did you? When did you open up? Or what, what, let's take that back. Not when did you? Open, when she approached this to you and started saying, "Well, what about this dream and stuff like that?" How did you? What was going on in your mind? Well, let's just say this here. Uh, our story would take a long time to really get to the nuts and bolts mm -hmm. of it here. But what I will say is this here: When I met Tanasha during this, this season, when we met. Uh, you know, I had just 
got out of another marriage. You know, that marriage didn't work out very well. So I was okay. playing the field. Okay. You know, dating a lot of um, different women. And okay. when I met Tanasha, I was also dating at the same time. So I never closed those doors. Okay. And, you know, at the time, I left those doors open. Even though mm -hmm. I, you know, I broke off the relationship, the doors were still open, which means I can always go in and out if I want to, mm -hmm. but mostly emotionally speaking. I gotcha. So, um, so when Tanasha started, you know, fast forward, and when Tanasha started having dreams, at that time, I started to become physical with s some of the females that I was, in, you know, dealing with. Mm -hmm. Now, for me, when I was out there doing my things, I didn't, I didn't deal with single women. I dated married women because, mm -hmm. in my mind, I figured married women had just as much to lose as I did. Okay. So that was the attraction for me. I didn't deal with it, the, the single women because I didn't want the attachment. And none of that stuff. It just a lot of drama goes along with I that. Gotcha. Not like drama don't come along with married women either. But so so I, so you dated the married women, but not the single women. Exactly. Because you wanted because you were married, so you're thinking there would be no way they would have to lose something. Too. Well, there's rules, and when you have those type of okay. relationships, you know the boundaries. You don't call after a certain time. You you, mm -hmm. you know there's mm -hmm. just unwritten rules mm -hmm. here. So. This went on for a while here, and then how this all come crashing down was I went to Trinidad to visit my grandmother and my cousin, and I left my phone in her car, and that's where everything started to happen. When I left my telephone, you know, Tanasha had it in her hands, and the curiosity of wanting to know what was inside the phone was mm -hmm. starting to build up, and I tried my hardest to try to, you know, to divert it. You know, I, I tried to tell her, you know, like, my cousin is coming, you know, can you give him the telephone so he can mm -hmm. give it to me? But that didn't work. Eventually, you know, Tanasha finally got enough courage and she asked me for the password. At mm -hmm. that time, I was in Trinidad, so when I gave her the password, that's when everything was revealed. I'm giving the condensed version, but that's how yes. I ended up getting caught. Yes, yes. Was, uh, so did you rebel against that at first, though? I when, tried my hardest to yeah, pretend that I didn't know the password. I tried stalling. Yeah. I mean, I couldn't. It was my time to get busted. Yeah. Uh, I was in Trinidad. I had no access to a computer. If I could have wiped out. The bowl out, had to come to a head. Right. Because, if I had to so wipe, to if I could have wiped out the phone, I would have wiped it out, and then she would have had no proof, and you and I wouldn't be sitting here today. That's right. <laughs> so God had a plan. Yes. God had a purpose because your story, your story is going to help somebody. And the reason why that. The reason why I wanted to ask about this brokenness and how this even came about and how you got to the, the, the core of getting busted, so to speak, is because this goes on in relationships, whether you're married, whether you're single, you know, but you're dating and stuff. And so it just become a way of it's just become a way of life and people yeah. just adjust to it and and women accept it men accept it and some people are in it and don't even know how to get out of it uh -huh. so that's the thing because there is a cycle and it's a continuous cycle and they're like they want to break free from it but they don't know how so so when you when this came to a head and you found this out how did this affect you as a as a woman how did this affect you i was broken Mm -hmm. I was um, severely. Um, how long were how how long were y'all married during this? Time? Twelve years. You had already been married twelve years. Yes. Okay. Wow. Yes, and to know that um, we walked up the aisle and made commitment to each other mm -hmm. and vows that resembles that of a covenant, which we were going to be true to each other. And I gave him so many chances and asked so many questions, and um, it was just devastating for me to understand how someone could do this. Like literally, am I like living with someone who would probably kill me and then help look for me? Yeah. Like I just didn't wow. know who he was anymore. Wow. And I, I literally told him when he came home back from Trinidad that, um, you know, I don't know how to help you. Mm -hmm. I gave him a journal. Mm -hmm. And um, a, a notebook and, and a book, actually a really good book. And I said to him that I know one who can, and I truly suggest that you use the upstairs bedroom and go find God. Now, did you guys have God in your, your marriage or in your relationship? Yes. Y'all were Christians? Yes. Okay. Yes, okay. we were very this, this, involved in the church. Uh, that's it. As ministers. That's it. Yes. Yes, yes. And that happens, it happens a lot in the church, mm -hmm. more than people want to own it because sure. everything's facade 
keep, keep it covered up. Mm -hmm. So so you were very involved in the church, and you were broken. And mm -hmm. so did you go through a phase where you tried to hide it or, you know, uh, go through denial? Did you step out of the church? Did y'all split up? or? No, we stayed within the home and did our house separation mm -hmm. because we had a big enough house that um, Jason can have a room and... Mm -hmm. Um, he understood that I would need space and time. Because you had kids. Yes. Okay. Yes, we have responsibilities. And mm -hmm. um, personally, I knew that if Jason was serious to, um, to work on this marriage, mm -hmm. I would be because God is. Yeah. And he is available to help us. And so if he was, it really was, um, I was dependent on his, his seriousness. Okay. And if he was serious, I'm willing to okay. forgive to walk through this with you, mm -hmm. but you have to be serious about it. Yeah, you can't be playing games, exactly. Yeah. And so you obviously took it that he was serious, <laughs> that he wanted to, but it takes time. It does, it, it takes time, and it takes um, a lot of work. Mm -hmm. A lot of hard work had to be put into this, and I had to make a lot of hard decisions. Mm -hmm. um, I had to, 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 you know, shock him sometimes into yeah. reality. Did you question yourself and say, well, how could this happen? You know, what did I mess up on? What did I need to be more understanding about? Was there anything that you questioned yourself about? Because a lot of times I hear from women that go through the infidelity, and, and from men, I, men too. I have a lot of male friends, and they share with me that, you know, their spouse is, this has happened, and this is why they're not together, and this is why he's single, and stuff like that. And, and it's because they felt like they was not whole. They felt like they were broken. They felt like they, they did something wrong, you know, did you go through any kind of emotions? I went through like all that? of it, all of yeah. it. I had to second guess and then get the answers. So tell tell us tell us some of the answers that you got because there's women and men that are watching this and they need to know mm -hmm. how to get that answer. We know Jesus Christ. We know God is the one mm -hmm. who is is the healer of everything. But what are some of the steps that you took to get to that place of wholeness? So literally, I had to be stripped away of everything that I knew. Um, was the building blocks for a good marriage because I felt like I was walking in, in that, okay. honestly. And so I had to literally, you know, find out, well, where did I go wrong if I did? Mm -hmm. um, one of the things that I knew that I was doing was really using my words to mm -hmm. cut my husband down. Mm -hmm. um, I, and I was going down that path even more so now um, mm -hmm. As he was getting deeper into those relationships, I was literally doing the, the push factor. Mm -hmm. You know, I was calling him names. I was literally cutting him down all the time with my mouth, with my words. Because yeah. um, there's power of life and death in the yes, tongue. Yes, yes. It, it was harsh. It was really mean of me to do that. But I also had to um, also think, what about me in terms of my physique, in terms of my body? Wasn't yes. I good enough? You know, um, why would you have gone out to to step out of the marriage mm -hmm. and just really assessing all these different things? Okay. Um, but we did a lot of processes. We'll, we'll have to do part B, part, part C, B, part and D. Ah, <laughs> you know, yes. they need to get the book. Is what they needed. People needed them. So Jason, when yes. when she was going through trying, like she said, the processes that you go through and stuff. You know, can you explain? why, you know, you can't define why all men do this, but can you explain your reason and what, was there root issues? Was there things that maybe you could have been, you know, well, cycle from past or? I say this here, when Tanasha found out, and I'm just going to piggyback on what she said, it was like me taking a grenade and tossing it in the room and it exploded on her. She didn't know up from down when this all, when, when everything yeah. came out because it was deep. It was several complex, several dimensions. Mm -hmm. But, you know, as a young child, I, you know, I wore glasses as a young boy, so I suffered a lot of rejection. Okay. Girls didn't find me attractive, and I used to watch a lot of the rap videos, and I used to see these guys surround themselves with women. And mm -hmm. I wanted to be that guy. I've had some horrible situations happen in school, and I made an inner vow that I'm never going to be that guy again. I'm going to always be that guy that's going to, have the women around me and you know and when I walk they follow so you I chose do. a certain mindset oh, that's yeah. what it was Absolutely. yeah so we all have choices to what we this is why I say you know we have a choice to think certain things we can go this way or that way and and 
your time and you went the wrong I way. Went the wrong, I went the wrong way. I, yeah. I went into overindulgence and all that. So thinking mm -hmm. that that would make But that's me... common and that does make sense. And that tells you what society does to us, the yes. environment of the music. And, yes. and, you know, this is what we're introducing to our youth today, you know. And this is just... Um, um, this, this is why it's so important that we need to surround ourselves with positivity and uh, positive influence such as 106liveradio.com. <laughs> so we need to hear these stories of how people have went through things and how they overcome and why they did it. So your roots was because what you surrounded yourself by, what you was visualizing, and the way that you felt about yeah. your, your own And self. how I was treated as a little boy. I was yeah. an ugly duckling, and I just didn't like the way I looked. I mm -hmm. was going through rejection issues, self-esteem mm -hmm. issues, mm -hmm. and I felt that you know, surrounding myself with beautiful women would actually be the, the antidote that I would need it. So how did you become whole? Well, I was stripped of everything. I, when I say I was stripped of everything, when everything all came open, okay. I had to make a, 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 a decision whether or not do I try to work on my marriage mm -hmm. or do I go back into that lifestyle, my affair partner, because okay. I was torn at that time. I mean, just to be mm -hmm. truthful here. Mm -hmm. and. You know, I didn't know at the time that Tanasha had already forgiven me and she was willing to work with me. I didn't know any of that stuff. Okay. You know, the stuff that she's telling you now during that time, I didn't know. All I knew was I was dealing with a, a uh, four alarm fire, mm -hmm. a forest fire that I needed to figure out how to put out. Yeah. So I did whatever I needed to do at the time to try to salvage my marriage. Okay. It, it was a slow process. I had to, uh, I mean, eventually I got rid of my, you know, my cell phone number my Facebook account, and all the things that people can reach out to me. So I had to go and kind of start from the bottom mm. to get to where I'm at right now. Trust was broken. There was no trust. That was out the window. Yeah. Tanasha was very angry at me, and rightfully so. Mm -hmm. And what I needed to do was to prove to her that I was serious. So you were willing to take those steps. Yeah, I was, it, yeah. Was, it was a difficult journey. Mm -hmm. I, it's something I don't want to ever go through again, but I'm glad I went through it because it has made me the person that I am today. Because that was one of my biggest fear was getting caught. Yeah. Because I knew what I was doing was wrong, but I wasn't man enough to confess my sins to her. Mm. I had to get busted, and I had to have been busted in a foreign country where no no escape. And then yeah. I had to come back and face the music. And when I faced the music, yeah. that's when everything started to uh, come together. Um, I went through a lot of counseling, mm -hmm. lots of counseling. So you agreed to I'm, I'm sure that you said, let's do the count, because you said that. So... There's a lot of people out here where one partner wants to go through counseling, but the other does not. So tell us the benefits of counseling and how it, it helps. Because a lot of people think what happens in the home stays in the home, and you don't sh you don't go share your business with a stranger and stuff. So, But let's hear the benefits, because we hear the negative side. Let's hear what the benefits are. We know the benefits is a successful marriage, well, but you got the, the but, benefits behind it is this here. We went to counseling before everything came out, but I played the roles like I'm just going to go through this and go through the motion. So we went through counseling. Wow. Mm -hmm. So as she was pouring out her heart, I'm just sitting back just wanting this to be over with just so I can go out and do what I'm doing. Now, after the big event happened and I went back to that same counselor, she didn't know that this was going on behind the scene. It was like, okay, what do we need to do from here? Because, you know, she didn't know how to handle this because it was a surprise to everybody. Wow. wow. But the benefits of counseling is this. You get everything out in the open. Mm -hmm. and. As us being Christians, we recommend that you seek a counselor that's mm -hmm. Christian counselor mm -hmm. because most of your counselors are going to try to encourage you to divorce if you can't work out a resolution. It's mm -hmm. just how the world is. Mm -hmm. But if you go with a Christian counselor, they're going to, you know, we're going to do things the scriptural way. And, yeah. and, and for us, that's what we end up doing. And during the process, we also went through a deliverance also. I went through a deliverance, which really helped me because I was dealing with sexual addiction, pornography, Everything that goes along with yeah. it, masturbation, all that stuff. I mean, wow. It was, wow. It was, I mean, I was way out there on the spectrum. Yeah. I mean, you name it, you know, I was, my mind was just corrupted, poisoned, I would say. So you say you went through deliverance. How did you get the deliverance? Through, through your through, Well, the deliverance took place. I went to see a, a deliverance uh, preacher, mm -hmm. but the deliverance 
preacher was also a counselor. So she was a Christian counselor. Okay. And I went through s about six months of counseling before we actually went through the deliverance process. So uh -huh. you just don't get delivered like that. Not not mm -hmm. in this case here. Yeah. Because they need to know everything about you, mm -hmm. your childhood. Because there's so much roots. There's mm -hmm. so much root. So uh, there was yeah. a lot of things that were entangled in me at the time. And yeah. once I went through the deliverance and I was set free, mm -hmm. I tell you, it's, it's a totally different world for me now. Um, I don't have those urges. No more masturbation. None of those things that was wow. causing me to go outside of my marriage. I see Tanasha as the beautiful woman that God has blessed me with, and we have a, we have mm -hmm. great time together. I mean, it, things have been better now than it ever has been before. Wow. So. That, see, I love the success stories. It's so precious. This is why I said this is all about the love coming from your pit. Y'all were in a pit. Oh, we were. You were. You I were mean, definitely in a pit, and it was. It was. And the thing is, you wanted to come out, but you didn't know how, and so you was like, "I just ready to get busted," but you just still went through the motions. I went through the motions in the beginning, but when I became serious and I realized that my family was on the line, and I re and I recognized, okay, if I go back to my affair partner, she's not leaving her husband. And matter of fact, that relationship is not even blessed. Mm -hmm. So let's just say, for instance, I walked away from Tanasha and I went to my affair partner and we got together. We both did the same thing to get to know each other. We would end up doing the same thing again. Mm. You know. It just become, keeps becoming it's a, cycle. a cycle. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you know what's ironic about this whole story? The day Jason and I met each other was? The same day I met my affair partner. Fast forward 12 years later. So wow. it was our anniversary. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't put two and two together at the time. So wow. the same day that you met your affair partner is the same day that you met Tanasha. Yeah. Wow. wow. Mm -hmm. So was she married at that time? Yeah. She was married at she that time because you were only dating married women. That's right. So, but look at God, and you. And the thing is, we have to go through things, and we because of our choices, you know. If it was up to God, it wouldn't be that way. But you know what? His grace and his mercy always covers us. And he takes us through these storms. Mm -hmm. And the sun will always come out shining if we keep him the center focus. Mm -hmm. And, yes, we get distracted. Mm -hmm. And we don't keep him our center focus. We fall off the tracks a lot of times. Mm -hmm. But if we can get ourselves back on track and say, God, it's about you. It's not about us. It's not about what Jason wants. It's not about what Todd and Asha wants, but what, what God wants for them together, what he wants for them individually. Then when he, we can totally surrender to our own selfless, selfish desires and put him in the center, then he's going to bring the joy to our hearts again as one. And exactly what happened with this book, From Brokenness to Wholeness. How can people get this book? It's available on Amazon. Okay. Yes. Just type in um, Jason and Tanasha from Brokenness to Wholeness, mm -hmm. and you'll find it there. Um, there is a, a story at the very beginning okay. of the book that talks about how we went down to uh, Fort Lauderdale where we, just, we have a home down there, mm -hmm. and we were out there just trying to remove a vine that Jason had or in the beginning of our relationship just tossed the vine to the side and that grew root and every time we pull it down it continues to grow back again we pull it down it continues to grow back again and this one day we decided we don't want this here anymore this mm. is when we were actually going through the wow. process wow and we so decided God was even giving you revelation we, all in the that. natural we pull up every root it took us all day mm -hmm. but we literally turned the soil over pulled up every bit of root and then we spread this chemical down which was like the blood of Jesus yeah. we spread this chemical down and we go back then from time to time and there is no trace of this vine anymore uh, that's about to make me cry <laughs> I'm like Jesus Lord oh my god this yes. is amazing so are you guys available to speak or to go yes. into churches or into uh, events and things like that to speak. Yes, yes. So, we've been doing that since we launched the book. We went mm -hmm. to um, the UK. We went up to Spokane, Washington. We've done quite a bit of speaking. And now with COVID, we actually do a lot of work from the studio, 106 Live Radio mm -hmm. Studio in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. We have the epic marriage. Every Wednesday, Jason and I sit down. We have a date on the radio. Okay, mm -hmm. I love <laughs> a date on the radio. That's so cute. And I we share. It. We share topics that we've learned from. We share, you know, okay. things from our books. We actually invite couples to meet with us, and we talk about their most defining okay. moments as well within wow. their marriage. Wow. So when can we watch this show, the, uh, the Epic Show? Epic Marriage Show airs every Wednesday from 10 to 2. 
10 to 10 to 2 p.m. every okay. Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. On Live Radio. So, and then people can download the app. So, how can they do? How do you download the app? You go to any of the app stores and mm -hmm. you look for 106 Live Radio, mm -hmm. and there you can download the app and choose okay. the Epic Radio love, to hear the Epic Marriage. I love it. Guys. At 10 o'clock. I yes. love it. I love it. You, this is an amazing story. We're going to take a brief break. We're going to come back and we're going to close out, but we're going to show another little promo video of yours um, talking about everything that you guys do and about the Epic Marriage. Marriage, okay? okay. All right, we'll be right back. You're invited to join us every Wednesday on Tanasha Gray Show on 106LiveRadio.com. Keep epic marriages alive. Get focused, get noticed, move forward. You know it by get the focus, get noticed. Welcome back, everyone, to the Focus Forward Robin Show here at the Regina Sunshine Global Network at the 400 Parkway at Galleria in Atlanta, Georgia. I have had an amazing time with you guys today, and we were just talking about off the air about how this is not what you're doing. You're not just reaching just married couples because a lot of singles that are wanting to go into another relationship to eventually get married again. Maybe they've been married once or twice and they keep making these same mistakes over and over. And they don't have the cycles broken. You guys are helping them because you're coming clean and you're being up front with what your story is about. Speaking all over the country, you know, and, and sharing your message. And it's just so impactful. So if there's people that are watching the show today and they're looking at the live or the replay and they need to know how to get healed from their brokenness you know um how would you help them to focus forward to move into getting them because i'm always saying before you can help somebody else you got to help yourself you got to get your heart right within who you are get your heart in place to, to love you because from my personal experience with myself when i went through my divorce I had to go through the process of being healed and to understand me and to love me and to understand what my mistakes were. What did I mess up on? Why did my husband choose to behave this way? And then I had to say, why did I choose to behave this way? Because I was just as guilty as he was in certain areas. We both were at fault. And today, thank you, Lord, he and I are at peace with one another. He and I can sit down and have a nice dinner on a friendly um pace together and that's big because a lot of people can't do that because they're still broken they're still hurting they're still angry they're still bitter and so how would you help uh encourage somebody to focus forward to get healing from brokenness to wholeness well, honestly we wrote this book from my perspective and jason's perspective so there is a bit of both of us sharing within this book it took us how many about three three months to write this okay. book publish it and everything. Um, it, it goes through a lot of the de the depths mm -hmm. of what betrayal looks like and okay. infidelity looks like, mm -hmm. but it actually teaches you how to grieve. Okay. This book teaches you the process of grieving. Because I'm a pastoral counselor, mm -hmm. I was able to write some of that within this book from, okay. from classes and studies that I've done okay. and how to forgive. And, you know, disclaimers as it relates to forgiveness. Okay. You know, um, we all need to go through the process to be mm -hmm. redeemed. Mm -hmm. To walk free from bondage, yes, we need to go through the individual processes. So that's what, that's what your encouragement is for them to, to walk in forgiveness, but to go through that process. The process be, of grieving. The process of grieving. What because about, you have to grieve something that you've lost. We lost the yes, ideal yes, of the marriage. Yes. yes. What about you, Jason? Well, I would say for anybody that's, uh, that's looking at getting married is to really 
know what you're getting into. And the reason, and what I say know what you're getting into is if you have doors that are open in your life, you need to close those doors. Mm -hmm. You need to be completely transparent and you got to be on the same page. That's you got to be equally yoked. Equally yoked, transparent and on the same page and close those doors. Mm -hmm. That's very powerful for a man to be bold and to speak that out. And I know that makes you feel very proud yes. for him to come clean, you know, for one, but to be able to be united with you because now you're walking in a place of purpose. You know, you're you're living the purpose of what should have happened before, but you kind of had some detours along the way. But you know what? God gets the glory in it all, right? Mm -hmm. And it and and I love the fact that how this is a wonderful success story. And guys, this has been such an amazing show to have you on today, Jason and Tanasha. Thank it's, you. This means so much to me. And so, if the book, how much is the book? $20. $20. I'm going to buy this book and I'm going to invest it into somebody. So, um, the first person who comments on the page and says, Robin, I want the book, the book is going to go to you. Okay? So, the first person that does that, I'm purchasing the book for them today. Thank you so much for taking this time because that's so where I want to grow. I want, I, I know what God's done for me and what he's doing for me today, but I know that there's people out there that are broken yes. and they want to be complete and whole. And the first way to have, be that way is to have God in your life and have that direction. And so, um, yes, I'm so in it. So I want to grow. So thank you so much both for being on the show. You're welcome back anytime. We'll definitely have to do a re <laughs> replay to talk about this because there's so much more oh, yes. in debt that, that we could cover. So guys, this has been an amazing show. If you're going through your stuck mentality and you're in a pit situation and you want to get out and you want to have purpose, you know what? Make sure you tune in to this show every single month, every second Monday of the month at the Regina Sunshine Global Network with the Focus for Robin show because this is what I do. I have people come on this platform, share their stories of how they overcome their obstacles and they move into a purposeful life. If you're interested in being on the show, I'd love to have you connected. Reach out to me. Um, I have a new website coming soon. I'll be announcing that next month because it'll be up and running. And uh, if you're wanting to book me for any speaking events, um, any acting roles, um, any motivation, anything that you're interested in, um, you can reach me through the website. So make sure you get connected with me. But for now, you can reach me out on all social media platforms, uh, which is Instagram and LinkedIn and um, Facebook, of course, under Focus Forward Robin or either Robin Shockley. This is the Robin Shockley Show with Focus Forward Robin. Remember, we're going to close out now, but if you think a thing, you believe a thing. If you believe a thing, you're going to achieve it, just like Tanasha and Jason have done here today. Y'all be blessed. Get focused, get noticed, move forward. You know it by the focus, you noticed. Get focused, get noticed, move forward.